Hey guys, what's going on? Russ here. Today, we got seven books from the dollar box and three books from not the dollar box. So, let's jump into it. Alright guys, this first issue up is a copy of X-Men number one. Now, I recently saw this on uh, Comic Girl Ava's channel. She was doing a series on the X-Men books. And I could have sworn I had this issue. And I really wanted to reread it after I saw uh, her video. But I dug through my boxes, could not find it. Today, I was at this local shop, and boom, it was right there in the dollar box. It's in a little bit of rough shape. Got some creases and stuff on it, but I need to show the poster all kind of on the inside cover. But anyway, I just wanted to pick it up to reread it, so I'm not really worried about the condition. I mean, it's on the staples and nothing is missing, so it's good to go. The next book up is a pretty nice looking copy of Daredevil number. Daredevil 300. This is one of the issues I had back in the day that I unfortunately had to sell off. And I got lucky and found it in the dollar box today. I always enjoyed this cover. Which is, I think, the reason I bought it in the first place years ago. And looking forward to rereading this one as well. I picked up a Ghost Rider, issue 29. Never really read much Ghost Rider back in the day. But I gotta be honest, I picked this one up because the cover just looked incredible. So definitely gonna read this. Where you got Wolverine and Ghost Rider taking a chunk right out of Ghost Rider. That's awesome. Now these next four issues I saw on uh, JPL Flash's Comic Geekdom and Metarog's crossover videos. And I checked eBay for them, and I found them at a good deal on eBay. A lot of four for just $10. But I didn't have to order those because I found them in the dollar box. First one up is Marvel Fanfare number 10. Some awesome George Perez there. Marvel Fanfare number 11. Looks like this book is signed. I did not notice that until right now. Is that just the normal, is that like just the cover? Or did I get a signed book for a dollar by George Perez? It doesn't have any kind of certification in it. going to have to uh, do some research after this video because I have no idea if that's just the cover, like if that's on every cover or if that's an actual signature. Uh, if that If that's legit, I am extremely happier than I was. I'll have to I'll have to check that out. All right. That's interesting. 
And where was I? Marvel Fanfare 11. This is a four issue arc. Marvel Fanfare 12. And Marvel Fanfare 13. So Black Widow story. A four issue arc. And they're all like in really, really good condition. I'm kind of tripping on this, the signature. It'll be real interesting to find out if that's like. And there's the phone. Okay, it only rung once. Good stuff. <laughs> It'll be real interesting to find out if this is like a legitimate thing or not. Guys, how do you tell if a, um, a signature is like legit or if it's just like a printed copy or something? Because I don't, I don't know. Either way, the book's staying in my collection. All right, and these next three up, they weren't in the dollar bins. Weren't in the dollar bins, but I got a pretty good deal on them. I found this Avengers JLA issue four, which it's four out of four. Unfortunately, they didn't have the first three to complete it. Another book that I saw on uh, JPL and Metarog's crossover video. And when I saw this one down there, I had to snatch it up just for the cover alone. I mean, Superman with Thor's hammer and Cap shield. How do you get more overpowered than that? that? Easily my favorite Superman cover ever. Hands down, out of any Superman book. So definitely on the hunt for the first uh, first three issues to complete this. Oh, by the way, I got this for $3, which I think is awesome. The cover was five ninety five, I believe. And I picked up the first issue of Maximum Carnage, which was Spider-Man Unlimited number one. I had this whole set back in there, or close to the whole set, because I think I was missing a couple issues from the Maximum Carnage. But I've been trying to put this, uh, the whole series back together. I saw this down there for five bucks, so I figured why not go ahead and start with the first issue. And this one costed a little bit more, but to me, I think it was a, still a good deal. I picked up Web of Spider-Man number one. And it is a, just a beautiful high-grade copy. I don't see anything wrong with this thing. It could easily be, I think, I don't want to say a 9.8, but I think it could easily be a 9.6. Considering getting it graded, but again, I don't really know the process of how to do that. But anyway, I got this one uh, for 25 which I think is probably about the standard. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. But I'm extremely happy to have this in my collection. <laughs> hey, guys. This book had me so messed up. I totally forgot to film my outro. So I'm going to tag that on the end now. Uh, by the way, I sent some photos of this to my buddy JPL Flash. And he said that that look like the real deal to him so I'm like crazy excited about that uh, George Perez signed book for a dollar that is unreal I'm gonna get this framed I'm gonna put this in a frame and display it over here 100% staying in the collection and I want to say a thank you to JPL and Metarog because if it wasn't for their video their crossover videos, I wouldn't have even been out looking for these books. So, to find them and stumble across a signature, just... <laughs> so, I'm going to link both JPL Flash's uh, channel and Metarog's channel in the description below. If you're subbed to me, you're probably already subbed to those guys anyway because their channels are just amazing. But just in case, I'm going to link them below. If you're not... Go over there and sub them guys up. Alright, as always, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. 
which I've changed to match my channel name. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace, everybody.